All right, so to go off the last video where I was uh, comparing Sod Shaman Tank to uh, Era. Well, here's my Era Shaman Tank. This is what I had. Uh, this is actually my hardcore Shaman Tank. Managed to get like all this gear on it before I uh, died and walked off the Zeppelin like a dumbass. Bell Striker, hey -o. I got that in hardcore, by the way. Uh, ZG Shields. Main tank didn't need that. Still never... Uh, Got my damn, like, tr uh, the Totem of Rage. Yeah, that would be, like, the best Shaman Tank for Era, like a Totem. Yeah, this is kind of, like, what a Shaman Tank would look like, uh, kind of, like, pre-raid Biss. Just starting to get into raids type of deal. Like, only got a couple of epics here and there. Tristam's uh, leg guards don't give you, like, defense rating in this version. It's just 2% dodge. Uh, yeah, beast... Master stuff, like, uh, still have the chest that I won from Bean. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, Royal Decorated Armor from Anger Forge is definitely better, because, uh, as Aero Shaman Tank, you want to be stacking stamina, because there's not exactly so much, uh, defense gear that's going around here. Like, we <laughs> only got 323 compared to my solid Shaman Tank that basically has 400 defense by now. Yeah, it's a lot different playing a normal era Shaman Tank compared to... It's, like, actually more challenging. Like, uh, there's some mobs that are just, like, immune to Earth Shock, so I gotta, like, Frost Shock them. And, uh, rely on melee, like, quick melee with Rock Biter weapon. Hence the, uh, Bell Striker. Got three ranks of Earth Shock that we're actually using. Like, rank one for interrupts. Rank three for, like, kind of, like, a Sunder than like max rank for like a pseudo taunt it's not actually a taunt but like huge burst of threat and uh there's a uh, two different uh, levels of like lightning shield because like in uh this version you've got a refresh lightning shield so you could either use rank three or rank four type of deal at uh at the start of a boss pool you'd use max rank uh that's like the main difference here rotate like obviously we don't got a storm strike or uh Lava Lash. See, I'm, I'm even rocking the Elemental Fury builds where I don't have Storm Strike that I mentioned before. Like, it's definitely a thing. It's been a thing way before Solid, like this build. Yeah, and uh, this one I don't take Lightning Shield. Because uh, no runes that make it super OP to be worth putting talent points in here. And uh, yeah, what was my favorite bomb of choice? The High Explosive Bomb, I guess, was what I used for AoE. I had a key binding somewhere here for oil of immolation, but I guess I probably took it off my bars. But yeah, it's another thing that helps with uh, AOE. And also, like, this is, like, hella slow pace compared to Sod Shaman Tank. Like, you're basically oom um after every, like, mob pull. Because, uh, you're, like, starting the pull with a chain lightning. You're, uh, hitting one guy with an earth shock, then, like, t tab targeting someone else to just melee them. Like, a lot of tab target melee, keeping, uh, your, your threat and check for AoE pulls. It's uh, a lot more effort than uh, just playing it as Sod, because like, uh, the Lightning Shield on that game is just kind of like a little bit of OP. Plus, you get like Molten Blast, multiple Fire Shock spread. Only, yeah, there's a lot of times I don't even press Fire Shock. I mean, maybe if I'm like fighting a boss and I've already got, like, I'm ahead on threat, I can get a Flame Shock rolling. And, uh, yeah, well. I'm trying to like look at my UI here. Is there anything else different? I mean, I, using a, a lot of consumes here, definitely major mana pots because like we also have a mana issue in just normal era shaman tank. <laughs> no shami rage to uh, be using. Dummies also help to like get uh, people, well, the mobs off uh, your healers, and group party members, etc. So yeah. Uh, yeah, I swear I had a, tw like, a oil... I guess I was mainly just raiding and, like, not exactly having to worry about AoE pulls, so I don't have oil of emulation, like, on my bars. And, uh, yeah, the whole gearing progression is, like, different. Like, uh, you would actually... Well, since this was a hardcore uh, Shaman tank, there was no PvP involved, or I would have something, like, uh, from... She calls it AV rep, but, uh, yeah... Engineering is like, did, did I max my engineering? Yeah, I did. Okay. 
I haven't bothered to do that on my solid shaman tank because you just don't need it really. But I guess probably sapper charges will come in handy. But yeah, this is definitely like way harder to play a shaman tank on era compared to sod. I, I think I, I I've said that multiple times, but uh, yeah. Hence the the whole I'm a rank one shaman tank. Like I was doing this before it was cool, and when like, yeah. It's a, like, Sod is a little baby poo-poo shit in your diaper version of Shaman Tank. Like, anyone could play that, like, but it takes, like, a true chat to actually, like, play this shit, like, outside of Sod. So, yeah. I've been doing this shit for years. Yeah. Let's, uh, end that on that note there. Rank 1 Shaman Tank. <clears throat>